And here we go. All right, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Joffy VIP Room. I'm your host, of course, Joffy. And let's not forget, we got my two awesome and crazy good people, my co-hosts in here. We got Ash up in here. We got David up in here. Y'all say what's up to the good people now. What's up, y'all? <clears throat> yes, indeed. So if y'all did not watch last week's show, y'all need to go back and watch because it was a good show. It's a good first show for both my co-hosts to join me on Joffy VIP Room. And they're going to continue to join me on here and the next one, and the one after that. So y'all get familiar <laughs> with these people, these nice and manilinate people right here, right there. They're good people, they're good, kind of hard people. So yeah, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. What we talking about today, we're gonna talk about two trailers that just dropped, Raising Dion and Moon Knight, and then we're gonna talk about the fallout from Spring 5. Did you like it, did you hate it? We're gonna get into that, and we're gonna talk about a new show that's been hitting HBO Max called Peacemaker from the DCEU, but I think this one might be a little bit, well, we'll get into that later on. And of course, we got the rewind segment and we got our closing segment. We're going to talk about some church folk. Church folk. Uh, <laughs> say, say a prayer, but that's later on at the tail end. Y'all stay locked in. Josh is our peer room. We're about to get into it. Let's go. All right. With that being said, um, let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. So, um, Raising Dion, the trailer just dropped today. I know, Ashley, you said you haven't seen it, right? I've never I've seen, seen it, though, but I watched the trailer today and it made me want to watch the show, so I'm going to definitely watch it. <laughs> cool, cool, yeah. And so, you can watch season one on Netflix right now, Raising Dion. Dion is spelled D I O N, I believe. And it's pretty much about little boy, got superpowers. Like I said, I haven't watched it, all of it. I only saw probably an episode or two, and I got so crazy busy. As she said, she hasn't watched it, but seeing the trailer makes her want to watch it. But we do have David on here, who said he watched <laughs> it. So David, you know, tell us about Raising Dion, man, just a little bit, man. I mean, I watched the first season was like the, like the build up of the character. Mm. Cause it starts out that he know he's different. He just doesn't know how. Mm. So then he starts developing more powers and more powers. And Michael B. Jordan is his father, but he's of course dead. So as the story progresses, oh, damn. you learn that Dion powers came from his dad and his mom, then his mom finds out he has powers. Then he has this big super villain that he has to fight at the end. This little kid, like six years old, fighting super villains and metamorphous powers that he can move things with his mind and stuff like that. It was cool. And the government gets involved too. So it's so when you see the trailer, you see where's my kid, that's from the first season. Mm, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. It did seem like a pretty good uh TV pretty good series. I only saw like one episode and I like I said, I got so busy and I told you know how I can when I tell David, I was like, man, I'm gonna come back to that. I'll come back and watch it. <laughs> and I hate it when we get something so good with TV or with these TV series, especially with people of our color. Y'all can take it that how y'all want to. It is what it is. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. It becomes so good and they stop it. So I was like, I'm not gonna waste my time with it. I'll see if another season come out or another season. Then I gotta quickly go back and binge watch. And it was like Raising Dion is one of those right there. So it comes out February 1st. So yeah. I love uh, black superhero TV. Um, I never, I don't, I never watched Raising Dion. I saw it and it was just one of them things that I kind of like. Um, went past because I never seen I've never seen the first trailer, so I, I just knew people were talking about it, but I never took interest in it. But I watched the trailer um, today for the first time, and it was a really good trailer, and it seemed really interesting. And um, you know, my boyfriend's in it, so I gotta watch it. You, wait, <laughs> is your boyfriend? Everybody <laughs> is it Michael B. Jordan? No, it's Drum Flynn. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm about to say my uh, I got a homegirl uh, named Erica, so shout out to Erica. Um, she that's that's her man right there. So I'll say <laughs> y'all might have to talk about that. If she don't come on here, but um, cool man. Uh, yeah, raising Dion, February first, and February is right around the corner. Um, so yeah, and January feel like it's just going on forever. God, dude. 
Yeah, these months have been hard, hard especially because you, you're basically on lockdown. <laughs> we still in the house. People don't want to go outside. So it's just like, yeah. dang, yeah. we in March. So I feel like I just paid rent. So, hey. Still on it. Still on it. So, um, so yeah, Razor Dion is out right now. And a little quick tidbit. Don't forget that Ozark, the final season, season four, for all you fans out there that's, that's into Ozark, the season is out right now as well on Netflix. So I had to binge watch it. I caught, I'm caught up with everything. I got to get to season four, but I'll binge watch that over the weekend. So so many shows to binge watch out. So yeah, so just keep that uh, little little tidbit in your back of your little membrane right there. Let you know Ozark final season is out right now on Netflix. So with that being said, moving on and moving forward, Moon Knight, this trailer <clears throat> So what y'all what y'all think about Moonlight? Um, Ashley, did you see the trailer for Moon Moonlight? For- I did. Then um, it gives me kind of like Joker vibes Joker when vibes. I was watching. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the last Joker, you know, like he would kind of like be out of his mind and not realize when certain shit was happening. That's what it was mm-hmm. giving me, but. I think he's more of a superhero. I don't know. It was not much I could tell from the trailer, but it was enough for me to say, I'ma watch it, so. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I know. Um, and it, not, oh, it is Marvel, correct? Yeah, he's with Marvel. I know not a lot of people, um, well, for regular fans, they know about Moon Knight, and the comparison is, you know, Moon Knight is Marvel's Batman. And when you are talking about how um, he reminds you of the Joker, with how Joker was going crazy and everything or whatever, Moon Knight has is, suffers from schizophrenia because he has like um, I think it's a total of three people um, that he got going on right now. Yeah, three. <laughs> yeah, three. Yeah. But don't the Joker sucker sucker suffer from that too? Joker suffers from a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things that he did suffer from was skip being skipped schizophrenia yeah. yeah i think in the in that uh walking phoenix one i believe he suffered from that bipolar disorder uh he suffered from a, quite a few things from what they added um that little twist right there so this one moon knight he just uh yeah he has like three bodies in all in one he has to go through the whole process of picking a hoof like this person does this this person does that this person does this and he's just like all twisted and demented, which why the trailer, like his ankle is like chained and locked up. So he won't go out and do what he regularly does, which is not only what people ask, but it's going crazy. So yeah, so, um, and also David appreciates for sending me that video as well too, to get a history mm-hmm. of Moon Knight. I knew a little bit about him, but I didn't know too, too much about him because, you know, hey, they had just, they didn't like introduce him like they should have back when, you know, we were growing up in the comic books. Yes. So, um, David, you want to touch on Moon Knight real quick, brother, before we move forward? Oh, Go man, ahead. I am. This series, I have not been a big fan of some of the some of the series Disney Plus has put out, but I am looking forward to Moon Knight. When he said embrace the chaos, mm-hmm. you, you won me. Mm-hmm. I'm so... Yeah. All right. uh, I- I'm looking forward to it. I, just like you said, I, I didn't. I didn't know much about Moon Knight, so I saw that video too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I again, I've never seen any of the comics, so I was just like really trying to piece it together. I'm like, so where does this person fit in? I think I do that with every character. Every time somebody come in, I'm like, where do they fit in? Um, and my friend, when we were talking about it earlier, he was like, um, he's like Batman, but terrible. So I, when I watched the trailer, I said, I'm not getting Batman. I, I get the Joker, but mm-hmm. he was like, yeah, you're not going to get Batman from the trailer. So he's one of those people who actively know the comics and everything. So I'm just like, okay, I'll never get it because I'm not <laughs> not picking up the comic. I just watched the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they say he's like Batman because, well, of course, you know, the costume is a dead giveaway. Batman wears, you know, black. Moon Knight wears the off-white, I guess you can say which will probably be pretty hard to keep clean. But that's another conversation for another time. Um, <laughs> but they saying he's like- <laughs> Pretty dirty already, so hey. You gonna get blood on the homie. <laughs> so, 
But uh, he has like uh, different gadgets, and you know he has his own uh, plane, I believe. Um, and so yeah. that's what they're yeah. So that's why they're saying he's kind of like Marvel's Batman. And he's pretty much he deals with street level type of things, but on a um, pyramid and Egyptian god like type level. So that's what um. So that's the difference between him and Batman right there. Um, the shirt looks good. I, I look I look forward to it. Um we're gonna see what how it goes. It's coming out in March, I believe. And yeah, so I'll check I'll check it out. Uh y'all gonna check it out too? Well they've already know you got your vote on yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll check it out. Cool. So yeah, Moon Knight is coming to Disney Plus near you. Make sure you get that subscription. And uh, you know, we already know how you know how some mouse get down. Y'all sharing the passwords and everything, whatever. Don't just make sure Mickey don't find out because that, that mouse ain't, ain't, ain't he not playing with y'all. He's tough. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go <laughs> to screen. Scream series, man. So, um, I finally got a chance to sit down and watch Scream uh, yesterday. I have my thoughts on it, but I'm gonna let y'all go first on this. So who wants to who wants to do the honors first? Ladies first. No, David, I want you to do a team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, is, is this gonna be spoiler free? I can not just talk. Go ahead, go go ahead and talk. Spoiler free. Well, no, yeah, spoilers. Go ahead, spoilers, spoilers. Okay, pretty much was a this was a reboot to me. They, they kept they kept referring to it as a movie as a. Requel, and yeah. I still got what that meant, but it seemed like they're starting all over again with the franchise. Mm -hmm. So they decided, which was a completely dumb idea, to me, <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah. so they put that little screen twist to it. Mm. Everyone who died in the first screen movie, their relatives are not going to die in this one. Mm. Hence the. Re so, um, I like the kills. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as gruesome as some people say, but I like the kills. Right. That was, a, especially when Dewey died and he got stabbed in his neck. You yeah. deserved that. You had a gun. You could have <laughs> been shot. You could have shot. <laughs> Why get that close? You deserve to die. So, <laughs> let move. And that's exactly what I said when that knife went in his neck. I said, you deserved it. Not Dewey. <laughs> you did a Dewey move, so yeah. <laughs> but that's another scene I did not like in that movie when they was in that hospital. The lights went out and everybody disappeared. <laughs> <Nurses, laughs> <out of> got <guns. laughs> Oh man! Like, okay. That made no but, sense. So fast forward to the end. It was good. I mean, I, I mean, I said okay, not reboot. I, I see a part two coming, mm. and it's screen. So it gave me what I wanted. Yeah, true. And I was shocked that Amber was one of the killers. That surprised me. You shocked who was one of the? Oh, you talking about the boyfriend? Amber. Oh, Amber. Amber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Amber. Okay. That I didn't. Uh, that that threw me off. That surprised yeah. me. Mm hmm. It didn't surprise me. It didn't surprise me? No. <laughs> so, Ashley, tell me your, your take on it. I hated the movie. <laughs> I hated it so much. I was so mad. I'm like, when is this going <clears> to... <throat> if y'all going to make a second one, don't. I just feel like some stuff we should just let die. <laughs> I was very upset because I'm going into this movie, like, one of my biggest disappointments. I'm going into this movie expecting like gruesome kills. Mm -hmm. Them were regular, regular kills. Mm -hmm. I've seen worse in Freddy vs. Jason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or just, <laughs> um, they were very like, like I think there was only maybe one scene I jumped. Um, <laughs> the kills that made me sad was Dewey. And then, um, I can't remember his name, but he plays in 13 Reasons Why. He was one of the main characters in 13 Reasons Why. Oh, the um, blonde, blackish hair. I, I forgot his 
Uh, I think one about Wes. So a shout out to Wes Craven, Wes. who passed away Wes. before this came in. So yeah. So yes, I was upset about Wes dying. Um, I did expect it to be Amber, especially when it got down like to the end of the movie. I'm like, mm-hmm. she like her vibe when her sister came into the hospital. Like she's never been here. You've never been there for her. Now you're just back out of the blue because all this is going on. And the only two people that knew that they were there was you know the family in that immediate room. Everybody mm-hmm. left, and you know, the ghost face appeared out of the blue. I'm like. Mm-hmm. Well, um, West loved her sister too much to do that. The twins, the girl twin, she was more fandom about everything. She was like, the killer could be you. The killer, I'm like, it's not her. The brother, mm-hmm. no, just no. Yeah. Twin brother. Um, and then the, the, the ditzy white girlfriend, no. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, so it, when it, I'm just like, it has to be her. Um, the twist kind of was the boyfriend a little bit like i just really didn't expect it because i'm like he acted dumbfounded about her whole life like he's like i'm just not watching the screen movies i've never seen him before you know he didn't know what was going on in her hometown so it's just like to figure out like really how they correlated and he knew this girl amber from way back in a city and he's talking to her but also talking to the sister that was a little bit of a twist i was like damn he the killer and then when i thought about it i'm like yeah it makes sense um appreciate the nostalgic moments of bringing out all the original characters i do not appreciate the dude we kill at all i don't care (laughs) this it was just i'm like it was just too much because like he took the knife up like his, it was in his throat and then the other knife up his back i'm like that was that was a lot that was gruesome <laughs> yeah that's why gruesome yeah. kills in there yeah and that was my thing too because like i was um telling david and somebody else is that with the other scream um films well first and foremost we already know there, what's missing from the film is, you know, um, Wes Craven because, you know, he's gone and passed on. And so that's probably the thing, the most thing that they're missing the most from it. Um, they're missing that it, it didn't feel as tense and it was missing some some charm and comedic chops to it. And it felt like they would not having as much fun. You know, you know what I mean? Because in other screams, it felt like they had fun with it. Ghostface was not only killing people, but the way what he would say to him to lead up to that kill. You know, it felt like he earned that kill with them. For this one, it felt kind of, it didn't feel it, it, like that. It felt it rushed. Like, in. Yeah. It was just rushed in. It, the movie seemed way shorter than, like, because I think it's like an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. It seemed way shorter than what I expected because it just seemed like the kills were just like mm-hmm. back to back. I'm like, the mother died and the son died. Then I'm like, yo, this is just, it was just a lot. Yeah. I mean, um, it, it happens like that in the screen movies, but it's like, it's really? I don't know, like go, going back, if you look at all, all of them, it just feels different the way how everything was set up, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. We got an older and we just so like, you know, we used to what's going to happen. So I was kind of looking for some creativeness. Now, the first attack on um, the sister that was in the hospital in the wheelchair, that was done perfectly. Even though, I, like y'all David said, he don't know how she survived. I did. So, right I'm like broken leg, all them stabs. Yeah. But was- I'm like, missed the or- she missed the organs. And it was just like, that's why I think it was a third person on it because wasn't Amber on live film? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there would be a t- mm-hmm. someone else was also in on the killing. Yeah. So yeah, that is true. Unless he was oh. actually, you know, that look. Yeah. Was didn't that there? at the end? Hmm? Didn't they flash Ghostface at the end? Right before it went off? Yeah, they did flash him. They yeah, after- right. I- yeah, like mm-hmm. a small little cut of Ghostface with the knife and slashing the screen or whatever, and then that was, then they cut to the credits. So yeah, um, I mean, uh, Scream, it was what it was. Um, we see what they were trying to do with it. I thought it could have been better. Um, I didn't, 
I didn't hate it, but I felt like it was lacking something. And I think with Wes Craven being gone, that's what it, it lacked a bit. So, I mean, uh, I wish it would have been, and I think that's what it is. Now, with the whole Dewey situation, I'm gonna need okay. So two things before we get up out of this. <laughs> so that's what she said. That is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so scary movie with the Wayne's brothers. They got it right. With Ghostface always tripping and falling every time he get like he fighting or chasing somebody. Always. Oh, he fell so and tripped so many times in it. Like I, I want to go and look on YouTube to see is there a compilation of Ghostface just tripping and falling or getting kicked and falling and stumbling somewhere? Because I was like, how many times? I would be so pissed if somebody that <laughs> killed me fell multiple times. Like you just deserve to die. You, you, you just, you just. I don't know. I don't know what to tell. And then on top of that, that whole scene with Dewey getting killed. How, how many people was right there? Now, I understand, you know, in hindsight, we know the boyfriend is a killer, so he's not going to help. He's going to sit back and watch. You got homegirl sitting right there um, that's in a wheelchair, so she can't do nothing. But no, he, he, remember? Um, he was like, no, he remember he had his gun. He was like, um, with these, you got to shoot him in the head. And they was like, no, do we don't go back? He was like, with the gun, I got to. He took yeah. all the bullets out. And then yeah. his phone run, and he looked down, and Ghostface said, "Yeah, which, which, but, just which, up, nigga, come back. I don't know what to tell you. I'll right. shoot you. I'm just, the, what the you? light ran off. I ain't, I ain't never seen a hospital so empty because this ain't normal. <laughs> Lights <laughs> off. All the nurses said. Yeah. Everybody was just home. There was no patients on the floor no more. I'm just like." I wouldn't have went back. I shot yeah. you enough. You didn't die then. I'm like, and do they have on bulletproof vest? They sometimes. I mean, I, they showed in the past that Ghostface gotten smarter. He wears bulletproof vest. But I'm, I'm also talking about before they about to get on the elevator and do like I said. Okay, you got a gun. Why didn't you shoot? You could have shot him in the head right there and been done with it. But another thing about that is that when, when Ghostface, you know, get in there and you know. Every, that's when everybody comes up and then they, you know, scare Ghost face off, he go off to the side. And then, you know, he comes back and attacks Dewey and Dewey like shoots him and he falls down. But during that whole little tussle with Dewey and the Ghost face, when everybody's up there, the boyfriend, we can X that off. Uh, the girl in the wheelchair, we can X that off. But Sam, I'm looking at you like, you know, you got free hands. Get your ass up and help me. Me, like, well, help me. <laughs> like, like, please. Luke hating about her daddy, and I'm still trying to figure out how this boy was her daddy when in the movie, 16, 17 years old, he died. So, <laughs> at, at, at what point in all his craziness of obsessing over Sydney and what his mama, what her mama did, did you make this baby? That's another Get out. Too. I like see, and I would understand. See, if they would have did like a flashback and showed him, like I can understand, because like I'm looking at him. So maybe Sam is like in her mid twenties or like close to. Her, well, she looked young. She looked like she she could be in high school. That's why I was so confused when you told me about that. Yeah. But I she was only eighteen. Yeah, well, the uh, what's the name? The girl that was in the wheelchair. She's the high school student. But Sam, how old was she? Like, is she eighteen? Sam was eighteen. Was she still in school? That's what I'm saying. That's like she, said that she left when she was 16, and you come back four years later. So, I think she was like 18. Yeah, so and that's I think her story is kind of like was 16 because yeah. they were still in high school. They were all still in high school. All, all of okay. I'm had to be growing up. She was in a work uniform. She she had. I mean, to be. <laughs> <laughs> I was working at and let's like see, has some frozen sperm somewhere, something. Cause um, no. The no, I, don't I, don't, I guess I mean we can fact check it later. Yeah, we will fact because it just it threw me off. I'm like, wait, how is she like? She gotta be like a, a late twenties or mid twenties or something. She and should be in a. Green came out in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depend on what nineties she was born. Yeah, cause like I'm saying, like her her boyfriend, he had a like full on beard. I mean, and I mean. 
I don't freaking, I'm not sure I'm putting too much thought in this, but you got to <laughs> ask something to help Dewey. Dewey would have still been alive if she got to ask something. <laughs> that made me mad. Oh, but at the end of the money, she, at the end of the money, at the end of the movie, she had all the courage. You know, her daddy came and seen her and she just magically saw the knife that was tucked under a wall or some shit. Yeah, like, oh. Uh, and then she, that was crazy. I'm like, damn, you didn't have to stab her 55 times, but okay. Hey. <laughs> Gonna bend it. Mm -hmm. Try to make sure then he did. Got him. Then Amber, Amber just didn't want to die. I'm like, pretty much. Girl, please, <laughs> please give. Mm -hmm. like, they, like she got burned, burned, like crispy. I'm like, damn, you still trying to kill somebody looking like that? Like you just give up, please. So like you probably would have had a lay show ass there and did like what Ghostface normally do and disappear and come back and <laughs> fight niggas for another day. But nah, yeah. <laughs> you you trying to live out this prequel and you doing it wrong. Mm. The real ghost takes what a left. Oh man, so classic. So um, to finish this uh, segment off, uh, let's rank the screams from you know the top from who was it? Text me. Somebody I want to call text me wrong. So from the first. From the, we got what one, two, three, four, and five. Worst to best. What's your or best to worst? Oh, okay. We got five of them. Best to worst of the screen franchise. Wasn't the fourth one the worst one? Uh the third one was I the was worst. The third, the, third. the third one was known as the worst one. I don't really remember all the screams, to be honest. So I'm gonna say one is one. Mm -hmm. Cause it's Two, three, five, four. <laughs> hey, keep, keep it simple. Nothing wrong with that. Wait, no, no. One, two, four, mm -hmm. five, three. Gotcha. Nice, nice. Dave? Mm -hmm. I'll probably say the same. One, one was the best. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, let me think. Let me think. I'll say four. Four kind of surprise. Yeah. Uh, then I'll say two. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. Then three. Gotcha. Mine's kind of like the same. I I'll say I'm putting three at the last. I don't know. There's something about three that y'all just. <laughs> I don't know, that one. Killed it. She always have two killers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what just I was like, nah, something about three. I was like, nah, that's too much, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, mm -mm -mm. so yeah, uh, same for me. Uh, screen one is one. Um, I'll put screen one, screen two, and then I'll do just like Ashley because that's kind of like how mine was. Um, four, five, and then three at the at the tail end. and. That's how I rank it. So yeah, um, so yeah, y'all, uh, y'all do want to go see it? I mean, even though we just spoiled it for you, sorry. We saved yeah. you. Save your eighteen dollars. Number yeah. them tickets. <laughs> go pirate, pirate it somewhere or something. I don't know. It, it ain't movie worthy. That should have been something straight to HBO Max. To be honest, it's not movie. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it, man. I mean, it's a movie. It's a movie if you want to watch a movie. But mm -hmm. I'm like, the movie tickets expensive, and you know, I could have seen something else at the theater for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm telling you, Ashley hit me up. She said, "You gonna be eighteen dollars?" Like, damn. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh my God, this ain't. <laughs> I'm like, I was expecting gruesome. I'm like, I'm I'm let down. I'm, I'm extremely let down. It wasn't as gruesome as I thought it would be. And I love a gruesome movie. Like I like I love it. And I'm like, it's not giving that. It was just niggas doing a lot of overkill. <laughs> Straight up, man. So yeah, uh, so yeah, y'all wait till screen five. Come out. What was that Dave? It wasn't gruesome at all. I don't even know why they made it rated R. To be honest with you. That is true. Yeah, stream has shown some gruesome stuff. So just letting y'all know ahead of time. So you know, just wait to come out on uh HBO Max or whatever, uh Netflix, whatever. And uh Browns. 
Go check it out. I don't know. It just seemed like scary movies not scary no more. I'm like, are we that traumatized as adults? Did we just like? I'm like, but I haven't seen a scary, scary movie in a minute. Same here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't get scared like that. I mean, I'll probably laugh at it before I get scared. That's that's just me. Sorry, not sorry. When I was a little kid, yeah. Movie. I want to see a good scary movie. I want to be shaking in my boots. I want to sleep with the lights on type scary. I love scary movies and ain't nobody giving me that in life right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just, every time I go to the theater. True. I want to start waiting. What's your, <laughs> what's your ritual for after you watch a scary movie? Leave the lights on, watch cartoons. <laughs> what, what's just watch cartoons. It's scary, I'm going to put on some type of cartoon. Cause I'm like, I don't know. It just seemed like it mellows out the night to hear that in the background or something. <laughs> I should be on and I watch cartoons and I fall asleep to it. Straight but I can't see the lights on. Straight up. Oh my God. Light bill too behind. So yeah, uh, then we're going to end. What is that name? They're damn right. <laughs> Straight up. But yeah, That's man. what's um, relying out here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I guess yeah. that's right up much. <laughs> <laughs> In the summertime, everybody be upset at me. They come, why is it so hot in here? You gonna pay the bill? You gonna pay? It costs to turn that AC on. I got TX. My lights ain't free to nine o'clock. So guess what? It ain't coming on until nine o'clock. Cut that off. It, 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 <laughs> this is straight up. You better yeah. get a fan, a ice, put a fan and put an ice bucket in front of it and sit there. Mm -hmm. Don't. <laughs> I'm not turning on the AC. Who, who gonna pay a $300 light bill? Not me. I can't do it. No. Not at all. Like, and honestly, they overcharge for lights anyway, but you know, that's, we ain't talking about that today, so. Right, that's, that's gonna make you scream for real. That's that's the true horror movie right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard, that's true. You don't want to get scared. <laughs> Children, the first one oh, no. just terrifies me. First. <laughs> that's the only, that's what scares <laughs> us. That's what scares black people, them high ass bills. <laughs> You want to do a, do a scary movie about that? The bills get. You no, know, we get, used to leave the lights on to shut children, and that bill come high. Parents be yelling in the house. Hell, my light bill three hundred dollars. <laughs> Stop running that out of my damn front door. Run my <laughs> light bill sky high. <laughs> That's the scary movie. Right there. That's how you scare us. Mm hmm. And that's going to be it for this segment, y'all. Let's go ahead. We're about to go ahead and talk about Peacemaker. Peacemaker. Uh, have you been watching? Have you been checking it out? I have. I watched the first three episodes. And um, just to not give too many spoilers, I, I like it. I'm digging it. Um, very su surprising. Um for a DC show, TV type thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to just rain on DC's parade, but it's hard to get good quality stuff from them. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, 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 the only thing that annoys me is that damn theme song. Other than that. <laughs> Love that song. <laughs> Um, it's the dance, and I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> um, instantly, since since my anxiety up here, because I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Where, where are we? Um, but no, I'm enjoying it. I think it's great. I love John Cena. I think he's an amazing actor, and I think that he's really killing it in this role. And also all the other actors that are surrounding him. I do not know their names, um, but I think that it's a great show. I love the direction that they're going so far, and I'm excited to see where we continue with this show. Mm. Ditto. David, what you think, brother? Oh, man, I, I love the show. I love it. I actually watched the first, the fourth episode, and hmm, things starting to get a little interesting. The story's starting to develop now. Mm -hmm. So, I am digging in. The show is hilarious. I mean, I love the theme song. I let her every time I watch it. <laughs> and, skip intro. She skipped yeah. intro. Um, I, I love the I love the um the vigilante. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. I love how. Which made absolutely no sense. Can, can, can I talk about spoilers? Or are we doing nope. spoilers? 
You can talk about spoilers, but except for <laughs> episode four, because I actually haven't seen the fourth episode. No, it's not episode four. We already know what you're talking about. Okay. When the dude was torturing Venture, um, trying to torture torture peacemaker but messing over eventually um <laughs> amen yeah like what is, <laughs> is, is like what dude <laughs> <laughs> it's funny man I, so yeah I, I love it yeah i um I, I love what i'm saying too like i said you know i think dc needed this with all the calamity and everything that's going on around it with their films and everything else um, they needed this, and it's refreshing to see it. Um, getting back to the intro, when you got your boy Robert Patrick, uh, who plays as John Cena's father, uh, as Peacemaker's father in this series, looking serious and doing that dancing, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? It just, like, it just made me laugh. But um, that was something else. The whole dance move, everything, and I'm like, this, this show, this is different. And I love... I love everyone's back and forth banter on the show when they get into arguments or disagreements or whatever. Not everybody can master that with their writing or even with the actors to make it feel natural. And it just feels natural. And it's sometimes, to me, one of the best parts of the show. It made me laugh. Um, and if you watch the show, you will know and see what I'm talking about. Um, I didn't really know too much about Peacemaker. I think I saw him one time in the comic books and I was like, who is this guy with this weird helmet? I didn't know the helmet had powers. <laughs> um, yeah, this um, kid um, um, Suicide Squad, not that I could remember. Yeah, he didn't. You know, so when that happened, I was like, what the hell is going on? I thought maybe he had a new in hand um, helmet or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's what he get for just picking random people up at a bar. That was so. That was so. <laughs> that whole scene, that whole play by play from the hotel and the couple, all that was just so hilarious. Like, oh, so you getting turned on by this man? <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to me. <laughs> all I that was just so funny. everything back to back. Like, I told you to jump out the window. How you? I'm. A, you just didn't trust. Like, and he's like, you know, I'm scared. Like, he's scared of. It was just. I think he's scared of heights because when he was looking down, and he looked, <laughs> I'm like, how you peacemaker and all this? And then, you know, the thing with his dad, they're talking about, yeah, he, um, his dad put him in a closet with rats and he got all these acne scores. And he like, I, I know this ain't the nigga that been bullying you. This nigga that shot you. And he, had, all that was just so funny. Like, I was like, yeah, <clears throat> bitch, you shut the hell up now. Oh my gosh. And it just works. It's like you're not taking him too seriously and you shouldn't because of how he, he looks. And they got the perfect person for him. Uh, John Cena. I mean, he can, he, I seen him in wrestling without, you know, I seen him, he can turn on that. He, he's the right perfect person for this because even in wrestling, he has his silly goofy moments of what he says and what he does. But he also can turn that switch on and be really serious when he needs to be. And it just, it just works. So, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to see what they do with this series, man. It's it's funny. Um, great, great casting by DC. Glad they stuck with James Gunn. And James Gunn said that um, he didn't think that they were going to uh, be able to use this show because I think he said he wrote it over some amount of time and he put it out there and they are like, okay, great. And they just used it. So I'm like, if it works, it works. So... So yeah, uh, Peacemaker. Um, these some idiots. I love Vigilante. Um, I love all the characters, really. No, nobody. <laughs> What's that, Ash? I haven't met a character that like, mm, you know, there was Viola Davis for that one scene, but hey. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. But... I don't like her. <laughs> you don't like her character? Nah, I love Viola Davis, but this role, because of the last Suicide Squad, I'm like, nah, she made me mad. They killed Sarge. <laughs> Even though he wasn't supposed to, but still. Mm -hmm. Viola, Davis, Viola Davis made me laugh in that scene. I don't care anybody to say. In the Suicide Squad, it's like, turn around, God damn it. Like, 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 God, dog. Like, she's just mad, man. So, yeah. But I, 
phenomenal, man. Her acting is so phenomenal. She gets in, I'm like, when she get mad and like she's really into the cash, she starts spitting. I'll be like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. You making me think it's really going on right now. I love her. Love her so much. Mm -hmm. Love her. Yeah. One of my. Mm. Wow, they was gonna bring it every time. What's what's that? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, and see, that's the thing with DC. It's like they have the right. They have so much talent with them, but it's just like they're not utilizing it the right and proper way. I think, or they just getting the wrong stuff mixed up and that'll be another conversation of the day <sighs> but yeah. oh my I god yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't get me started on dc oh d pay these people <laughs> listen to your fans <laughs> we want Snyderverse. we want ben affleck we want henry cow mm -hmm. why is that so hard for y'all to do Straight up. But yet, y'all get this. You know what? Nah. <laughs> David said, we're about to have another type of show because it's about to be about to go off. <laughs> oh, man. But I want y'all to say that. Anyway. This year, watch Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, so yeah. Uh, Peacemaker. Um, have y'all, to you know, the viewers out there, have y'all seen it? What do you think about it? Write in the comments below. What you think about that? About Peacemaker series, about the Screen uh, franchise, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna get into the rewind segment. So y'all stay locked in. Drop us by people. Let me check this real quick. Okay, cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is our segment that we call Rewind It. This is a segment where we see something so crazy, so you know, outlandish that we got to say, rewind it. But this one is going to be different because I just felt like we need to pay homage to the people that, you know, have, you know, shared their talents over the years, for multiple years, and now they are going to a better place. You know, they've been called home. But don't worry, we're going to get into stuff later on. But you got to stay locked in. But um, as I digress, so uh, with the sudden passing of Louis Anderson, we all know Louis Anderson from, from not only from you know my childhood, but the life of Louis. That's a classic cartoon. We love that cartoon. That was a classic. Yeah. <clears throat> but of course, um, stand-up comedian. He was a comedian's comedian. People love him. Um, I first saw him on Coming to America, when you know if you remember Homeboy that was behind the the the, the counter cashier. This week I'm washing lettuce. This week I'm doing fries. Next week is the letters and all that. Man, I'll be the big bucks be coming in. Louis Anderson. And it's cool that he was able to get in on coming to America because the studio said we need to have an, another white guy. Eddie Murphy and Arsino Hall said, you know a white guy? <laughs> get Louis Anderson in. <laughs> so um 68 years old. I'm not sure exactly what he passed away on. As time goes on, we'll see exactly what he passed away from. But uh, hearts and prayers to you, to you, brother. Thank you for everything that you've done, entertainment. You've done your job, sir. And not only him, but we have to pay respects to America's one of America's TV dad, Bob Saget. We remember him from America's Funniest on Videos, Full House, and as well as ooh, that one hurt as well. Betty White. Mm -hmm. Before the year passed, it went on for uh, December thirty first. She was about to turn 100 uh, in January. So got to pay my respects. Thank you for being a friend, Betty. We appreciate you. Thank you. We love you for everything you've done. And let's not also forget brother Sidney Poitier. So mm. that hit us hard in, in the black community. We, we, we love Sidney. Everything he's done. Um, he he did some uh, amazing films, uh, was a pioneer. He was an activist. He set the tone for how we should carry ourselves in these films. So it wasn't for Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, and many others. Harry Belafonte is still alive. He is up there in age, and that's one of his friends. I mean, knock on wood, we do know he's up in age, but hey, just saying. Giving out, yeah, giving out these flowers and roses right now. So um, for everyone who is in entertainment news that pass on, going on to a different home, to another better place, we thank you, we love you, we appreciate you. Rest well, y'all job is well done. 
So, um, if uh, do y'all want to touch on any of those people that uh, I just spoke about in the Rwanda segment, or you know, um, I'm not... I think you did a good job. I don't have nothing. Well, 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 good. well thank you. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So yeah. So that is our Rwanda segment. So let's get on to the closing segment of this show, and we're gonna wrap it up. Y'all stay locked in. Talk to y'all people. So. <clears throat> Ooh, let me finish this glass, cause go ahead. Go ahead. That's why I like. Let me. I'm gonna y'all save y'all energy. <laughs> I need all that energy. All right. Take time. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm getting mad all over again. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so we about to close out this show but before we close out this show i want to tell y'all to don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to jobs vip room thank you for joining us um don't forget to watch peacemaker to watch, uh, go watch scream if you want to that's your choice don't forget that raising neon is coming out to uh netflix near you share your subscription so we all can save money or, or actually don't, because I don't want to get flagged and nothing like that. So, so I don't know. Y'all know how it is. I can't think, man. That's on y'all. I, I don't, I don't, we I don't, don't know, know what you mean, sir. <laughs> don't share. Don't share. <laughs> Buy. Pay for Netflix. Pay for your subscription. Um, <clears throat> and also, don't forget that. $20. What's that now? You said it's only $20 now. No. Oh, oh yeah, they did. Uh, yeah, let's boost this up. I don't know why, but hey. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. I'm sharing y'all passwords. That's why. Netflix yeah. ain't stupid. No. That's <laughs> probably, that's, there you go. That's why they're raising it up. Because they gotta keep sharing your passwords. Oh, man. So, and don't forget that Ozark season four, the final season, is on Netflix as well. So, y'all check that out. Tune into that. Um, before we go, um, we going, we, this has nothing to do with Hollywood-ish or, I, well. Yeah. It was pretty Hollywood <laughs> I should have did like Ashley got myself a drink. Cause <laughs> the way I'm David looking right now. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to get to this thing. <laughs> Try to close it out. So um, it's some troubling things I've been seeing going on in the church home. Um, Ah, so number one, uh, out that one video that came out a couple weeks ago, uh, with Marcus and whoever that man was up in the front row, Mark, Marcus had some issues with Homeboy, and uh, he he um, <laughs> he had the hammer, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Ma- he just walked up there, Marcus. My, all I heard was boomerang. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, like straight up, like the past, and like the pastor just so gingerly walked over there, Marcus, Marcus. Yeah, I'm about to run. Oh, <laughs> not only that, but uh, a pimp walked into the <laughs> into the cathedral. And there was a bishop or a priest or whatever just sitting down giving his scripture or whatever. A pimp walked in with a hat tilted to the side, smooth beeline, walked up so gingerly, so so pimpishly, and leaned in. Pow! <laughs> Punched we the coming thing. to the end of day. What's that? I said, we got to be coming to the end of days. Cause... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what... <laughs> I mean, I see nothing wrong with the man. <laughs> I mean, let's let's um clarify some stuff first. It, it was a Catholic priest, and he was doing communion. Yeah. <laughs> now, it, it, here's a story because there was another video that 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 surfaced with mm-hmm. that African girl. They all saying her stuff wasn't for free, and that man didn't want to pay. See, y'all didn't know it. That man was that pastor. So 
when that girl went back to her pimp and said, I told him it wasn't for free, he didn't want to pay me. The pimp said, okay, I got this. He went up in that church, just like James, walked this as clean, cool, collected. They should have known something wrong already, because you don't, I, I ain't about to go down. I'm about to say something, no, I ain't going to say that. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> walked up there, just, and just hit him in the face. The man want his money. What, what's, what, what's, what, what, what's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> he said, man, he wanted his money for services rendered. Man, he I said, mean, they beat them church folks. These hands don't discriminate when you owe what you owe. And you about to get every piece of this giving place. Hey, y'all, sir. <sighs> Y'all know what y'all out there doing. <laughs> and, and, and you see now, see, we was raised different now. <laughs> we was raised to respect, respect our elders, and we go in church with some type of sense. These kids today about that life. <laughs> so y'all keep on sneaking and creeping. Mark is gonna come in there and punch you in your mouth. And that pimp gonna come in and not knock you on your behind. Nah, I'm not that plan now. <sighs> y'all make David take his glasses off to tell y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all no more. You to pull the glasses. <laughs> and to finish off this segment, to top it all off, <sighs> this is still heavy on my, my gosh. We, <laughs> man, I'm trying to still process this. I know my nerve. I'm up to time string. That's how bad my nerves can got. Time yeah. string. Straight, straight up. I'm trying to figure. But besides what David told me about what they, what somebody did over in Africa, about the preacher saying that <laughs> <laughs> we about to, <laughs> we need another, another hour. But it, but no, we not. We, we besides that, we let you with that. Hey. If you, but, if you want to rant, I'm gonna rant about that. But that's not. You said no. Let go. Yeah, let, go let's, let's stay on. Let's stay on this. Up. You, you're right. We'll say that for some other time. Maybe it'll be Joffy's VIP room after dark or something like that. I don't know. I don't be after dark. I don't know. Be the BET uncut version. I don't know. But this dude. So what's this pastor name that did this? Who? Who? Todd Mike. Okay. So we all heard about the scripture of, you know, Jesus himself healing the blind man with the mud and the, the saliva and all of that. And the man that he used to do this demonstration was his brother. Now I see what he was, actually I don't see what he's, I just don't, I just don't, you're not our Lord and Savior. Why would your brother agree to it? And then on top of that, why did you think? Uh, let me finish this real quick. Go ahead. Cause, mm, make sure she finished all of it. My soul. Mm, go ahead. Mm. Yeah. So it's uh, mm. why would you wipe? We're in a pandemic. Why would you take your saliva and try to make it seem? It that wasn't saliva. That was Luke. That yeah. That was a yeah. He did cough it up. Yeah. That, he said yeah. <clears throat> from the depths of his soul. And put yes. it in his hand and hit a little. Yeah. So, that works a lot. My goodness. Brother or not, I, pastor or not, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I'm not going to stand and let you do that. I hope he paid them some good money, but I'm pretty sure the money ain't worth it. We're in a pandemic. His brother literally said, It has nothing to even do with that we're in a pandemic. I understand where your message was going. Like, I understand, you know, and this is where people would turn away from God. You fucking right. Because, sir, ain't no other way. Ain't no other way. You could have spit on me and rub it in my goddamn face. No, you right. No. I'm like, you not Jesus, my nigga. No. You not Jesus. No. You not Lord. No. Why would you think <laughs> there's not enough money in the world 
Oh, I'm 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 just checking my watch to see if I got time. Oh yeah, I I, I got time today. Yeah. It's um, not that much, bro. I'm like it like you took that from the depths of your soul. You conjured up spirits with that. Like I'm like if your mouth was dry, drink some water. You could have played it out with water. It was so much you could did. I'm like, but nah. I'm like, and you know you was wrong. You should have stopped when the Congress was like, ugh. You can hear your mm -hmm. crowd upset. They wasn't with the bullshit. Mm -hmm. And but every that I would that would be the day I left church. I would have went home. Cause I'm not fit to watch this foolishness. No. And all honesty, I'm not sure if God can spit on me. Mm. I don't know how I feel in that moment. If he just spit in his hand and said, bring me your face. I'm, I have questions. What is it? What is it? Is it fit to heal me? Can we just, can we, can we figure out another method? Can you drink some water? That was a loogie. It was literally hanging off his face. That wasn't no spit. And I'm like, he didn't just why He was all of a young man's face. Ah, mm, 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 mm. I just want to light markers on him. Probably worse. <laughs> <laughs> Get James off him in the pulpit. <laughs> swing on him like Martin swung on that rat back in that jungle. Like, <laughs> oh man, got some elbow, got all that. David, take take us out, bro. Take take us out. Let, let, let's quick, go. quick. Look at here. What was the purpose of you doing that? I um, mean, that's. My question. Mm. First of all, in the in the script, he said, and this is where, because God healed the blind. First, where was the mud? Okay, he, I mean, where was the I mud? Get, I get that. I, I I read it. I believe it. I don't. I don't. I don't need. To, I don't need you to do it. I don't need to see that. And then two, there was a principle that Jesus was doing that I don't even want to get off into. Mm. There's a spiritual principle in that because he did it three times. The first time he saw, he saw trees. Mm -hmm. And then he was able to see. There's a spiritual principle in that that's called discernment. So what point are you trying, what was the, oh, I get it, you're approved, you were doing a stunt. And that's all that it was. You did a stunt. Bad behavior, bad choice, and it went wrong. You want to impress the people. You want to do something flashy. Apparently, he apologized. He was like, yeah, I watched the video back, and maybe it was a little extreme. I'm like, you think? You're on live television. This ain't something you just did within your Congress. This is literally on the internet for the rest of your life. I'm like, the way that looky looked, sir, I feel like you have a cold. That was disgusting. That was gross. That was disgusting. Never, ever, 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 ever in my life. I don't care what what kind of point you trying to prove. On what somebody kind of... And rub it in their face. You didn't even rub it in your hand good enough because it was still chunky. Oh. I'm assuming you dehydrated. You need some water in your life because there's no way in here. That's just normally coming out your body. Told you. Marcus had the right idea. Marcus. <laughs> Whooping your ass. Marcus. Like just... <laughs> if you go back and listen to it, you hear somebody say, let them fight. <laughs> <laughs> that person knew Marcus had a plan that day. Marcus said, no, nah, nah, I've been holding on to this. And that person, that person who knew what Marcus was about and knew what was going on, that's who said that. Let him fight. <laughs> I know I'm who like didn't know he was about that life, that preacher they was sitting on that front row. <laughs> 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 oh man, that is it for the show. I if feel like afraid enough you to start an ass. The, the, you, the message <laughs> didn't hit because of, it was just so much going on. I would have lost the message to be honest. I would have. I would have. No more. Because what did you do? What did you do? Then he tried to get back online, get online the next day, and try to clean up what it, what was done. No, it's too late, sir. It's too. Yeah, it's done now. It is what it is. 
I'm not going he back. Said it was gross. It was. <laughs> Man, he did a stunt and it went wrong. Let's call. Let's call a spade a spade. I mean, nobody in their right mind would do that. So, no. no. You should have no. stopped. We heard the crowd react. You should have stopped that. But you kept Ooh, going I with. Do it. So. I don't know why was your team like? Yeah, let's. let's do it. That's another thing too. Check who's in your circle in your team. And say, hey, does this sound right? They go the coach ones and the real ones gonna let you know. No, nah, that ain't that. Don't don't do that. Nah, that's not. Because if you would have came, you know, asked me, I would have been like, what the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> nah, I'll sure tell you, like, don't do that. Why? Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna ask why I slaps you? Yeah, just there you go. COVID climate. There you go. This thing you taking every day. It's a damn, damn transform. <laughs> oh, man. So that's going to do it for us for John right. Dark P Room, man. Um, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, be careful what church you go to. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Um, y'all got anything before we get about it? Well, it's into these churches. They ain't as holy and sanctified as they used to be. That's all I gotta say. They 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 moving different now. I don't know. That mid generation, they a little spooky. So do your research. Watch YouTube. Cause apparently it's all making it to the internet now. Pretty much. Well, I'm gonna say this. Beef up your security. Since you're gonna be out there sneaking and creeping. Hey, mm-hmm. they rolling up. up. Beef up your security. Beef up your security. Like yeah, you make money. So. <laughs> hey, your money. Beef up your security. I can be seeing more people like Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> Taking everybody out. We got to go, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Josh VIP, bro. We're done. All right. All right.